What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and today I just got a quick little tutorial in which I'm going to be showing you how to orient your project nor north and your true north for your Revit projects. But before I get started I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. Okay so let's get started, as you can see over here I've got just a simple floor, floor plan and this is a small house and usually when you're working on a project uh, you don't have your kind of your house oriented in such a perfect way to north usually it's in some weird angle and then you draw it like this or model it like this or you're doing the drafting in AutoCAD and you're uh, doing vertical and horizontal lines because it's a lot easier to do it like that than to do it in like a weird angle but for your site plan you would like to have that uh, you would like to have that angle because traditionally site plans have always been angled in such a way that uh, they're kind of uh, oriented oriented in such a way that the north is always up so how do you do that in Revit? well first let's add a north symbol over here for our uh, site plan so to do that I'm just going to go here to insert go into load family and then let's search for annotation and here we have a north arrow now we have north arrow 1 and north arrow 2 the second one is already loaded in but I prefer the first one because it's a bigger arrow so I'm just going to load that one in and then to place it you need to go here to the annotate tab and find symbols and here's your symbol and then you can place your north arrow now once this is placed you can angle it in a such an angle so that it's pointing in the uh, direction of the north so I'm just going to go here to rotate and let's rotate it by I don't know something like 60 degrees okay so we've got our north symbol but uh, it's still not rotating the whole site plan to rotate the whole site plan you have to go over here to your uh, project uh, base point and your project uh, survey point now I'm just going to separate those two so I'm just going to select the base point unpin it and then maybe just move it over here just to kind of have it in, at a different place but anyway so here's the survey point okay so you have those and you can use this to orient your or rotate your true no north but before you can rotate it first you need to go to the properties panel you need to scroll down and find orientation and then change it from project north to true north now you will be able to rotate it so now to rotate it uh, uh, and make this arrow point up you need to go here to the manage tab you have your uh, let's see okay so you have your position open that up you have rotate true north and once you click here as you can see from that project survey point it's going to allow you to kind of make that rotation but I actually want to take this line so you just take this dot select it and you kind of place it over here so I'm just going to place it over here at this arrow and I'm going to use the arrow to orient it or rotate it upward so it's pointing up at north and now if we kind of zoom out you can see our arrow is pointing upward and now we're in uh, in a right uh, project north for this project and now all of the shadows are pointing in the right directions so that's really important for all of the site plans but if you now go here to level one as you can see level one is uh, oriented in just a regular way so this is your project north and this is your true north so just keep that in mind so if we go here to orientation it's true north and if I go here into level one orientation it's project north you can change it you can go to true north and then it will spin around to that desired angle but usually for all of the levels you want to keep it at project north just because it's going to keep all of the modeling a lot simpler for your project Okay, so that's pretty much it for this quick tutorial on how to rotate your Project North and how to use Project North as well as True North for your models. Okay, so, and if you want to download this uh, model for this house, it's a cool little design, uh, you can get it on my Patreon 
the first link in the description or if you want to get some advanced uh, Revit courses also you can find those there and of course all of my Revit project files I think there's over like 300 400 files there so far so uh, there's a lot you can choose from okay so that's pretty much it thank you for watching and have a nice day